Welcome to the Built to Scale series, Outside Marketing, bringing you quick, actionable episodes to help move your business forward. Here's your host, Craig Severinsen. Welcome to episode two of Outside Marketing, where we answer the question, what does it take to grow a thriving business without sacrificing your personal life? Today, we're going to talk about why timing matters and also my number one tool, regarding my time. If you guys like this content, you want more of it, go check out Built to Scale HQ. I've got my podcast there. You're going to love it. Man, I am outside today on a trail and the wind is hitting me in the eyes. I'm crying because the wind's hitting me right in my eyes. I was wearing sunglasses until right now. So if I'm crying, it's it's not that I'm sad. I I promise. It's just the wind hitting me. (laughs) But guys, this is gorgeous out here. Look at this. This is crazy awesome. I love coming to this trail, and uh, it, again, this is the state park just behind my house. I seriously live not even a minute away. I can walk here, and um, I just don't always make the time to do it, especially this early in the morning, because once the summer hits, spider webs are just hitting you in the face constantly uh, as you walk through here. So I usually, you know, in the summertime, like to come on this trail in the afternoon because a bunch of bikers come through and they clear all the spider webs for you. But today I'm walking and I noticed something really interesting. So if we look here, I don't know if you can see, but this area, if I can point with my fingers, the sun's in my eyes, this area right here, all throughout these woods, once the summer or the spring really hits and it becomes summertime, it's overgrown. You can't get through there. There's so many sticks and leaves and plants that you can't get through. And as I was walking, I don't think I've ever seen it so clear. Like you could literally, you could literally, here, here's a good spot. Like you can walk through this. You could walk right through with no problem. And I was thinking about how in life, lots of times, timing is essential. Timing is so crucial to success. And so, you know, you can do everything right. And for whatever reason, the timing doesn't work out for you. For whatever reason, you don't get what you want. You don't get the results that you want. And the key to success is not to have one big push that doesn't work. The key to success is to have that consistency so that you are showing up every day so that when the timing is right, you get the success that you want. And I, you know, that honestly, I don't know about you, but that can be really hard. That can be really difficult to uh, have that perseverance to keep going when things aren't going exactly the way that you want them to go. But timing is everything. And sometimes you get these uh, opportunities that you didn't see coming. And I actually have one of those opportunities right now that I'm not quite ready to announce. Oh, the sun's I'm backlit there. But um, I'm really excited to share it with you. It's something different that I haven't done before. But uh, I, I got to wait to tell you. I got to wait to tell you. But coming soon, a special announcement about something that I'm doing that I think is cool. That it corresponds with the launch of this show. Because I get to document the journey, not only of growing my business, but this other project. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll announce it this week, I think. Um, so that was number one, Timing. Timing, timing, timing. That's what I want to talk about today. So number two, I was talking to a client yesterday about what's my number one tip for, you know, balancing business building and your personal life. And uh, I didn't know what to answer. And so we were talking, kept talking and I was looking at my calendar. She was like, hey, let's, can we do something at like one o'clock today? It's like, I can't because on my calendar, I have scheduled to go help my neighbor move some furniture. You know, he's, He's not an older guy, but he actually, he fell out of a tall tree like two years ago and he's still recovering from it. You know, you can imagine he broke like every bone in his body and he needed some help moving some furniture. So I put it on my calendar so that I wouldn't forget to go help this guy move furniture. And I was like, oh my goodness, of course, the tools you take for granted, the tools you use all the time are the tools that you, uh, you don't think about, right? And I realized that the number one tool that we have for making sure that we get stuff done, like not just 
personal stuff, but to get work done is our calendars. And when you use your calendar properly, actually put stuff on there. And if it goes on your calendar, you treat it as though it's sacred, you get it done. That is my number one productivity tool, but also my number one tool for, you know, guarding the time between family and personal life. You know, for instance, I've got every Monday is my internal like business building day, right? So I'll do things like uh, I write my email marketing that day. I've got a block of time for that. I'll um, I'll write, uh, oh, and I'll do what I call the visibility system where uh, I'll go apply to speak on stages or I'll reach out to connections to talk about their events. You know, and these recurring events for things that are important to my business, visibility, sales, marketing, uh, those have made a huge difference in my business over time. So that's that's uh, the number one tip, number one thing for guarding your time, but also productivity. Let's see here. What else, guys? Uh, you know, the purpose of this show is to talk about how do you how do you find that balance, but also what are you doing to grow your business? And one of the things I'm working on right now, I'd love to know what you're working on too in the comments, or you know, if you can email me or whatever. Um, But one of the things I'm working on right now is restructuring my offer, restructuring my pricing. And what I have found is that it can be difficult, right? When you're doing something new, something different. And uh, I've got money around this project budgeted. And yesterday I was looking at it. I was looking at the number and I was like, man, that's a lot to invest. Not that I, you know, I was okay with it, but I had this thought just cross my mind where I said, if I had to do this for free, if I had to do this just 100% free, what would I do differently? And the ideas started flooding my brain. And I started getting new ways of approaching my business and approaching this pricing shift. And what I was reminded of is that when you, when you put restrictions on your thinking, Creativity loves restrictions. Creativity loves to, you know, when you give it boundaries, it finds solutions to problems. And so maybe this is an optimistic view, but it's like use problems and obstacles to your advantage to grow your business. Let that spark your creativity to find the solutions. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this. I would love to know what you're doing to grow your business and what is your number one tool for productivity or for guarding your time so that you have a balanced life. Uh, Leave that in the comments. And until next time, take some fast focused imperfect action. I believe in you. You got this. Thanks for joining us to check out all the Built to Scale episodes and to see how Craig can help you in your business. Go to builttoscalehq.com.